Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Inkno. After watching this video today, you guys are gonna be able to have your very own interactive word cloud questions in PowerPoint using ClassPoint. Word clouds are a great way to visualize responses from your students for any type of question. Today, we're going to go through how to create this type of question, running the question so that you can receive live responses from your students, and then finally viewing those final results. Plus, at the end, I'm gonna highlight a few different ways that you can implement word clouds into your lessons. Imagine that I'm gonna be teaching a lesson about light and color. To warm up students for this lesson, I will start with an icebreaker question about their top three favorite colors. So I want this to be a word cloud so that my students will be actively engaged while they're responding. So to do this, we can go to the Inkno Class Point ribbon and select word cloud. Class Point is a free interactive teaching add-in that allows teachers to engage their students in many different ways including all of these other question types. So once our word cloud button is on the slide, we can move this around and then limit the number of submissions that students will have. We also have some play options here and these determine how our question is run during our presentation. For now, I'm just gonna leave these all unchecked. But that is all the setup that we need to do. Our slide is now an interactive word cloud slide. When all of our setup is complete, we can begin our presentation. In the top corner on our slide, you will see the class code. This class code is how students can join our class and begin submitting their responses. So we can go ahead and click on that class code to open up the My Class dialog. And here you'll see that students can go to classpoint.app and use this code on any browser to join the class. You can also use a mobile device and scan this QR code and it will take you to the exact same site. You just need to type in your name and click join and your name will appear on screen. I'm also going to join with another browser on this device. When you are ready for your question, you just need to click on the word cloud button and then the question will be open for responses. So I can go ahead and submit some responses here. And you will see that as I'm submitting, the responses appear live on screen. You can always hide these responses and toggle on and off some music. You also can minimize this window so that you can see the whole question slide. And on this slide now, the question button is yellow, indicating that it's in progress. So you can see the timer and the number of students that have submitted. So we can click back into our question button and check out the live status. So that will show you who has submitted and who still needs to submit an answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit some answers from my other device. You will see that as the responses are being submitted, the word cloud changes instantly. When all of your students have submitted, you can close the submission and view the final results. So this is our final word cloud. You can click on any of these responses to view which students have submitted that specific answer. We can also highlight the top answer, so you can see here that green is the color of choice. And in addition, we can insert these results as a slide, so that way you can always look back on your finished word cloud. To fully review the responses and analyze them after class, you can click Save for Review. Then back on our question slide, you can see that the question button is now green, indicating that there are responses stored inside. When your class is completed, you can exit your slideshow and view the responses from the side question panel. When all of your review and analysis is complete, you can clear those responses and then run the question as many times as you'd like. There are so many fun and different ways to implement word clouds into any of your lessons. 
One way is to use it for a brainstorming activity. Students can respond multiple times with their different ideas and seeing all of these responses will help begin any discussion that you might have. Another way to use a word cloud is to check in with your students. See how they're doing in general or for a specific event that is coming up in your classroom. This is a great way to gauge how the class is feeling. Lastly, you can change up your exit ticket questions by implementing a word cloud. Everyone learns a little bit differently and captures different moments from the lesson. Seeing all these responses together visually can help students pick up on different aspects from the class. What are some other ways that you guys use word clouds in your classes? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching.